Welcome to the 100% restoration and remodel of my great-great-grandfather's $7,000 mansion. And welcome to part two of the Dream Attic Rebuild. Up to this point, with the help of my friend Roman and my neighbor Justin, we have completely removed all the lath, plaster, brick, insulation, and old flooring from the entire house. After doing a full gut, we closed cell spray foam insulated and then got started on construction. We removed and rebuilt the center support foundation of the house. We rebuilt the entire main floor floor and completely framed the kitchen, the pantry, the dining room, and the living room. With the main floor completed, we jumped upstairs and rebuilt the entire second floor. Which brings us to today, the attic. Unfortunately, birds lived in the attic for almost 30 years and they ruined the entire thing. Due to this, we must replace the entire attic floor. We also must raise the floor to make room for the new HVAC system. Then to make all this a little more challenging, since the attic is so large, we have to rebuild the attic in thirds. Up to this point in the attic, Roman and I have already tore out and replaced the first third, so today, we are working on the second third. We have seven concrete obstacles that we are going to have to be working around today. So obstacle number one is the subflooring. We have just a little bit of old rotten bird poop subflooring above my head that we need to get removed. Once we get that removed, we will have the closed cell spray foam insulation in the ceiling exposed. Then we need to get that removed. Once those two, obstacle one and two are done, then all the messy, messy stuff will be completed. Obstacle number three is the roof support. Right now, the attic floor is holding up the roof. So since we're going to be removing the attic floor, we need to build some temporary supports that come down to the floor I'm currently standing on. So that way it'll hold the roof up and it will keep it from collapsing on us. That would be really bad if that happened. Obstacle number four is the floor joist removal. We have all the old floor joists. We are going to be pulling them out because they are no good. So it's going to be a lot of cutting and throwing them out the window. Then obstacle five will come in with putting in the new joists. And at that time, we'll We'll have to build some new walls because the new walls are going to be taller than the walls that we had before. So we will be raising the height of the floor. So the new floor joists will be higher than the old ones that we currently have. And then we will lay down some temporary flooring on top of those. So that way we have an area we can walk. And then last but not least, we have to do this in thirds because the attic is huge. And if we tear everything all out at once, the house will be extremely weak. So we have to figure out how to do this in little pieces at a time. Then on obstacle number eight, we have some question marks because this is the unknown. We don't know what we're going to get into when we get stuff pulled apart. We could find more obstacles that we don't know about yet. Hopefully we don't, but we're putting it in there because we're accounting for the unknown. Then obstacle number nine, I have asterisks by this. This is going to be in the third part when we get to it, but we do need to build some new stairs at some point. The, the first third of the house is done. We're moving today to a second third. What we accomplished earlier is that we moved all the stuff that would be in the way out of the way on the other side or the side that we already done. So it's all ready to go except for this little section here with, that we left when we were a little bit too lazy to finish because Justin was not here to push us harder. try not to fall down these stairs. I wonder if I can step up here. Okay, that looks a little bit sketchy. We're not gonna go out there yet, but Justin got the old subflooring out of the attic, so we now have no more old rotten bird poop subflooring in the attic. That is all gone. That is a really good feeling. We now have just this tiny little bit of insulation left in the ceiling, but we're gonna leave that up there because we think we can pull the floor joists out and the insulation will come down with it. So now we need to get a little spot up in here cut out. So that way we can get some supports made and hold up the roof.
just want to say, do you know how cool this room would be if we left this all the way exposed like this and had the big windows to be able to light up the room and you'd have an, in, an infinitely tall ceiling? We have a little bit of more floor joists to pull off here in the center third. And before we can get all the way over, we have to address this big hole in the floor because, well, Justin's pretty tall, but he's not that tall. He can't stand down 10 feet below and reach up here. So we're gonna take some boards, we're gonna lay them across, we're gonna lay some sheeting down, and we're gonna temporarily cover up this stairwell so that way we can have access to these floor joists. We'll get everything pulled down. Then later, we'll open that back up. The stairs will be here eventually, but for right now, we're just gonna temporarily close it in. Yeah, the way the roof system is working as you have any kind of load whether it's wind or snow it goes straight directly into the shingles transferred into your decking which transferred into your roof rafters and obviously the, the, because of the gravity it's not gonna go up the force is gonna travel down perpendicular to the cross section of this board so it's going down and it's ending up ending up there and as you can well see there is nothing underneath and that's why we have this board here we're gonna just simply tie it with a screw so that force would transfer into this board but it would counter weight with these screws that are attached to the exterior wall. This is just a pad job to help it to support while we're working on it. It's gonna be much better than nothing. And obviously looking at that structure, it's probably even better than that structure alone. was straight enough so it goes to my chicken shed pile. I believe this should be the last one to tear off for our second third and we can get going building stuff. We're gonna put the wall and start putting our floor joists on it. Every morning I always take care of office stuff. So this morning while I was in front of my computer just typing away, I told Justin and Roman, hey, you guys need to get that wall built upstairs so we can get the new floor joists in place. I get here this morning, they're just now getting the wall built. I don't know what is taking them so long, but I think we're gonna have to start talking about the getting paid by the hour thing because I don't think they really understand. If they take longer, they get paid more. They're working way too fast.
out of our 2x8s that we have here, so we have to get them out of the shop, brought them in through the window, so we can continue on, but we're pretty much done actually with the second third. We have another maybe six to eight feet to go. So we'll have to move stuff around again and clean up. We just put these in and Justin is already removing them. Finally, got done with our floor joist. That's done, 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 done. Now we're gonna be working on the temporary flooring. This is a good feeling. We got new floor joists in and the second, third. Justin and Robin are now pulling over some new sheets of OSB. We'll be able to get this covered up a little bit. Basically just like what we got here. So we have some temporary flooring down and then we can walk. And then we have the third third. Now I get really excited about a lot of things, but I don't get really, 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 really excited about a lot of things, but I'm really, 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 <laughs> really excited about what we're doing in the attic. We've been doing so much work in the basement and on the main floor of the house, which is where I currently am. A lot of it is work, 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 and you don't see a lot of result because it's all the little nitty gritty details. And all of a sudden, pop, 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 you put up a couple walls, and then wow, we have a floor plan laid out. Well, the upstairs in the attic has been like that for a long time for me. It's looked the same for like three years. So now, check this out. We have the first part right over here. This is the first third, that is all done. We got our wall framed up right in the middle. With getting that wall framed up in the middle, we were able to get the second third. Look at that beautiful thing right there in the middle. The third third, that's still got some work that's gotta be done on it, but second third, first third, first third, that is done. Let's go look up in the attic and get this thing. <laughs> we gotta get this little area right here in yet, but we're gonna have to change the orientation of these stairs. And we're not 100% certain exactly what we're going to be doing with stair orientation yet. So we just left this little spot out, but we have our wall made. So our floor joists are gonna go from center wall to over here somewhere, or the center wall to these stairs. And not a lot of work to do right here, but we definitely have a little bit of head scratching, but I'm gonna climb out here because I have something super cool that I would like to show you. And it's not super cool walking on this right now the way it is. I guess I could have climbed up that ladder right there. Probably would have been safer. But sometimes you gotta live life on the edge a little bit, I guess, don't you? Okay, we can definitely see way better up here now everything that's going on. So we got first, third, half of it has the floor joists on and then the other half does not. So we gotta reorient those stairs and then this will look a whole lot bigger up here. We did lose some ceiling space lifting this up eight inches, which is not the end of the world because we have pretty tall peaks up here. It's only a little annoying if you're trying to go way down there to the wall, which we weren't going to be doing anyway. So it is what it is. Just lost a little bit of space up here. Going into the second part, which is what we just built today. 
look at this. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. <laughs> look at that. You can see all the way to the peak. We got a 15 foot tall ceiling right here. You can see all the way up in there. It's a little hard to tell on camera, kind of the way everything's oriented. But lifting up this floor definitely gives us a better view out the window because we're not so low compared to where we used to be. So now a tall person can look out and be able to see. A short person can look out and see. You can look out and see the nice beautiful grass that Cooper made stripes on. We did decide to make a little bit of a change. Notice how over here, this is part three of three over there that we haven't done yet, but notice how big that space is. Well, part two of two, we just have this little spot sitting right here because we decided we are going to just build a little wall right here. I get a little four foot wide or four foot high wall. And then we are going to leave this open into a balcony down below. So we'll be able to see all the way up into this peak, be able to look out through that window from down below. It's gonna make a really nice, super tall ceiling. It's gonna be cool. You're also gonna be able to stand down there and then you'll be able to get light from this window as well. And that window because we're gonna have everything all framed right through here. Four foot wall all the way around. And so this is all gonna be open big balcony up in the attic overlooking down into here. I would like to say I have credit for this idea, but it was not me. That was Justin's idea coming up with that. So that just took this project from cool to really, 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 really cool. And I'm super excited about that. So we are gonna build that out in the next video. So better come back for part three.